Buster is always in the shot, eh? Okay, guys. That's this one. Now the door is out. Yeah? Now, if we do like that, 15, 20 degrees, you can see the roller is out. I can see it through the... Okay? And now the last one is the very bottom one. And there you have it, guys. Ah. Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna continue on with the restoration of this 1971 Westphalia. Now, in the last video, we left off and we had just finished repairing the cargo floor yeah prior to that we done a repair to the belly pan so we're moving along yeah now in this video we're going to take off the sliding door because there's a repair required um, to the rocker right the rocker is kind of it's got a lot of holes along it okay and we'll need to take the rocker off and replace it so That'll be a kind of a how-to video, yeah? Now, there's approximately 52 spot wells just along the bottom of the rocker, right? And I'll be showing ways of how to remove the rocker, right? 52 spot wells, 52 weeks in a year, it all kind of, you know, when you're putting it back, uh, assessing it, making sure you put it back to the best of your ability. Now, we'll be putting it back and you won't know it had come off and that's really what we're aiming for in all of the videos that's that's what we're aiming for that it can that it, it, it's the very best that it can be that's the kind of restoration that we're carrying out here on this bus and all the rest of the other VWs my collection right that's the way we work um, there's lots of tips and tricks so if you haven't been here before that's what the channel uh, primarily is about right it's about how to get it done and to the best of your ability and to give you tips and tricks and aid you in achieving that level yeah that when you've done it's almost you know almost that you cannot tell that someone's been in there and done that repair right or restoration complete restoration whatever okay so let's just get stuck in we're taking that door off it has to come off it's in our way yeah okay guys so this weather strip um, piece of trim needs to come off you can see where I'm at there okay so we have a screw at the bottom here underneath one screw there and we have a screw by this arm just inside here can you see that there's a screw there so there's two screws on the outside and if we open up the door and in here right where this catches there's also there you'll see a nut right eight millimeter nut I've already sprayed the two screws and this guy right so you can see that and then as we go into the bus here on the C post you'll have that screw there yeah and get a piece out of the way okay so those are the three screws that you need to remove to take this piece of trim off okay that trim has to come off
Okay, just find the head of the, the bolt. Make sure spanner's on there. Then unscrew it. Don't want to lose the nut. And the washer, if there is. Yeah, there's a tiny washer, guys. Yeah, you can see that. And eight millimeter nut. And there's a long screw. That's how that goes together. We'll put that back after. It needs cleaning. Okay, now we'll remove that piece of trim. That's about the height. Okay. Now we're going to tap up the trim. Just a little lubricant to help us. These things have been under. 50 odd years. A piece of trim it's just sitting in there. Um, sniffs. That's what we're doing guys. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 
have to replace this anyway. It's brittle, yeah? It's not doing anything really. It's really brittle. You cut out, yeah. I think a new one is warranted at this stage. It's really dry and brittle. Now, again. Quite good inside, yeah? 
usually in here yeah the rust kind of comes from here out through it's good so that's good news yeah on that one the replacements aren't brilliant yeah not brilliant this is in good condition really good condition so a save perfect always check guys you know when you have things off that you don't ever take off or that has never been taken off it's always a good time to eyeball the situation yeah okay i shouldn't be doing that right now in this video but i'm just saying uh this video is about taking this track off and getting that sliding door off ah <sighs> Okay, lots of cleaning up to be done. Buster is always in the shot, eh? Okay guys, that's this one. Now the door is out, yeah? Now, if we do like that, 15, 20 degrees, you can see the roller is out. I can see it through the, okay? And now the last one is the very bottom one. And there you have it, guys. Ah. stiff yeah and I don't mean my little fingers so that's going to get cleaned out yeah all this area needs cleaning guys good time for maintenance now yeah you have two rollers at the bottom Can you see that you have one here and one here Always check that this screw sometimes, guys, is not there. And guess what? It loosens and eventually drops, you know? You keep sliding and up, opening this door back and forth. And it drops, it drops out and can get lost. So, that's something you could do straight away. Just check that you have this one. Um, and that's it. The bottom of that door needs cleaning up too. Yeah? I did uh, show you all about checking the bottom of that door on where to look for rust on a VW bay, a type 2 bay. Now guys, the idea taking, the purpose of taking this door off, right, is so that we can access the sill, yeah? And the sill needs replacing. We're working our way back along this bus, yeah? And as you can see, the sill needs doing. So that's going to be the very next video, yeah? Uh, yeah, you can see dark holes. <laughs> yeah, and take that off. And all those beautiful spot wells that are like three quarters of an inch from each other, etc. But um, that's why the door is off, guys. We're on the sill next. Um, you'll have seen in the previous videos, we've done the cargo floor, etc. 
uh, we put a patch also on the belly pan okay guys so that's its resting place now for a while um, I'm going to get stuck in and continue on with um, the work that's required on the rockers right so that's the next video coming up um, I hope you enjoyed that one I hope you found it informative I hope it helps you if you need to take off your um, sliding door thanks for coming over guys thanks for tuning in and joining us on that one please like share subscribe hit the notification bell for notification for continuation and um, thanks very much to all the new subscribers guys yeah um, thanks for your support um, I hope you're finding the stuff you know informative and I hope it helps and saves money even right um, coming up in the next video now as regards these rockers I'm going to show you the difference between rockers okay and and, and why and how you could waste your money on um, on certain stuff yeah um, so it's as well to be informed before you make decisions I know it's always good you know um, buying lots of panels and stuff for your restoration and it's all very exciting you know and it comes in and the shipment comes and you open it all up but it's when you actually start to fit the stuff right and it pays dividends guys to to be aware of um what what cheap panels are basically yeah and i'm not talking about funky green panels as in expensive panels either you know there is a middle of the road and as i go through with the rest of this restoration um or indeed in the restorations that i have to do yet okay um as the panels come up and as they show themselves i'll show you exactly you can sometimes buy cheap panels but they're only for cutting certain bits out of right using cheap panels as a full panel replacement uh it never work never work guys anyway that's me rambling on again uh listen thanks for calling over thanks for being with us i'll see you in the next one ciao